Okay. Um, I'm going to show you how to go to GoToMeeting the two different ways. So I have the app pinned to my desktop, um, which we all should have downloaded because National did it for me. But um, if you haven't act, like started it yet, it might not be there. So I'm going to show you how to do that first. So to go through the app, you're going to go down to the search bar and type in GoToMeeting, and this should pop up for you. Um, so you're going to click on that. So I have it saved so that I automatically have my username and password already in there. So it's not going to pop up a login um, page for me. But I'm assuming for you guys, if you haven't logged in yet, it's going to pop up. And it's just a simple um, spot to put in your work email and then your password. So you're going to have to probably go through the process of forgot my password and all that. Um, before you get to this page but once you get through the login you get to here and you're gonna want to schedule a meeting so here you're gonna put in a title um, and this one occurs once if you want it to be more than once you just do the drop down um, and hit multiple times but this one's gonna occur once it's gonna occur today um, I can do that any day I want to it can be a month out it can be tomorrow but I'm gonna do it today and I'm gonna have it start at um, 1 and I have it end at 2 and then you hit save so the thing I like about the app is that it auto populates the information into an email for you already so here it's already in the email um, and then I just put in who I want it to be sent to um, it asks for a location you don't have to put it in it'll just um, have a pop-up that says do you want to send without a location and you just hit yes um, so you put in who you want it to be sent to and then you hit send and anyways um, and now there, the person that you sent it to is going to get an email similar to the one that you guys got for the all call meetings that I did. Um, and they're just going to click on the link to join the meeting with you. Um, you as the organizer can, um, either send that email to yourself so you can just click onto it that way or, uh, because it was populated through Outlook it's going to be saved to your Outlook calendar. So you just go into your calendar and click on the meeting that you want to open and then it just brings you back to this page so you can click the link to start the meeting. Um, it's going to ask you um, if you want to open GoToOpener just to say open it. Um, it will look like it's downloading something but it's just starting up. Um, and then this is what it will look like. Um, and here you can share your webcam, your screen, um, if you want to record your meeting, it's right down here. This will be helpful if someone wants to record um, getting the mail with someone over GoToMeeting. This is a really good spot to do that. Um, so your when you open your webcam, it will um, share and pop up here, and then as people add in, it'll um, add more people to the the screen so you can see everyone um, and then when you're done your meeting you just up at the top of this it says go to meeting and there's a drop down arrow hit the drop down arrow and at the very bottom it says exit and end meeting make sure that you hit that because if you don't the meeting will keep running on everyone's computer because you are the person who created it so you're going to do that um, and then the second way to do it if you can't get the app to work is to go online and go to the website gotomeeting.com and the page looks like this and you're going to go to the top and then hit sign in so mine automatically signs me in um, but let me sign myself out so I can show you what it looks like um, so it'll, it'll load to this page, you put in your uh, work email, hit next, and then you'd put in your password. If you don't remember it, this is a great place because you can forget password. Um, 
down here it says sign in with my company ID. This is uh, what Julie was talking about. You can sign in with your NOAA credentials. So if for some reason you can't get the password to try work, um, give that a shot. So hit sign in. Um, and this page has all of your meeting history that you've ever had. Um, so uh, you can see I our all call lasted 71 minutes that day. Um, it shows wish grantor training that lasted 81 minutes. Uh, so all of your history is there. Um, but to create a meeting, once you're on this page, you're going to hit create meeting. And again, you're going to name it. Oh my gosh. Um, you put it in as a one-time meeting. Um, when? One o'clock. We're going to do duration of 30 minutes, but you can do it for whatever. Um, and then you'll hit save. So, um, your information will populate on the actual web page here. Um, and to email this out to people that you want to go to the meeting, you're going to copy all of this information and you're going to go into your email, um, And then you're going to start a new email and you're just going to populate all of that information into the email and send it that way instead. Um, the people will still get the link. It'll be exactly the same. Um, the only difference is that um, when it's time for your meeting, you're going to log in to um, your web page and it'll have all of your meetings over here and you would... Uh, click on, this one's called test one, so you'd click on whatever you named your meeting, and then you hit start. And then it says open, and it's going to look like it's downloading. And then you have this exact same thing. Um, it brings you to the exact same setup as before. Um, webcam, screen recording if you want to um, and then again just make sure when it's time to end exit and end meeting um, and that that is it the only difference is um, also if you um, choose to record your meeting when you end the recording make sure you end it by hitting pause um, before you close the meeting completely and then go to meeting will actually send you an email to your outlook email um, That just says your recording is ready and it'll send you a link to that recording. So um, If you utilize that to do mail um, That link will be sent directly to your outlook email um, And yeah, so just let me know if you have any questions on how how to do it um, I've been doing it for a little bit. So it's very easy for me um, but if you're having any issues, just let me know and I can try and walk you through it.